Hi everyone, this is Susel Muenas from Hispanic Mothers with Autistic and ADHD Children, Ontario. I would like to make this video because I want to talk about something. Um, and I want to talk about the recent changes that are about to take place um, for ODSP recipients and Ontario Works recipients. The first thing I would like to say is this. It takes a really special person to pick um, the most vulnerable people in society. Regardless of your political interests, regardless of your belief, when you own power, when you are in, in a state of power, and you're responsible for an entire province or country or society you need to think about this for a society to function their members have to function if you think that people make millions out of receiving all the SP or Ontario works, you're totally wrong, mistaken, big time. The money that is given right now to this day, 2019, to people that are recipients of all OVSP and Ontario works are just potato. That are only good to pay rent, food, and transportation. And when I say food, the basics of food. Now, the other thing I want to say is this. If you think people enjoy to have a disease, an illness, a disability, if you think that people really enjoy to be in the system, you're also mistaken. The system functions and it's a structure in a way to make people fail. You see how you like to say that there are people living in abuse in the system. But do you know why you say that? Because you need to have those numbers. So when you go to the polls and you're running for office, you say in so and so area, there are needs that have to be made. And these people need and so and so service. You make your own number. You put people to live in misery, in poverty, so you can reach public office. And then when you get to the public office, you go ahead and attack the same people that pull, pull you in public office. Because according to you and whoever else is involved in this, you want to save the province money. But sir, if you're a businessman, if you really want to improve the province, if you want to bring up the economy, you need to bring up the people. You need to provide daycare for mothers to go to work. You need to provide daycare for mothers to go in skills of training. You are all for skills of training. But those mothers, instead of being at home, struggling with thinking how they're going to take care of their children, they can't go to school because they don't have daycare or they have to pay a lot for daycare. You can provide that mother with the daycare supplement. You're concerned about people not being able to function or maybe you have the idea that people are so lazy that they don't want to work. When in reality, everyone wants to have job Everyone wants to contribute. In an utopia world, everyone will have the right to do all those things. But in reality, there are things called life changes, life issues, mental health, child pension, abandonment, family dysfunction, lack of support, being a minority, 
that you are taking for granted. So if you're making all these businesses and you're saying Ontario is open for business, that means that Ontario is going to make a lot of revenue because we have a lot of international businessmen making money in this same province and city. So why not use that money to provide the social assistance and the social security and the safety net that Ontarians need at this point? Why you want to have thousands of people, if not millions, protesting all across the province? Because you're cutting basic needs. Are you really for the people? Or are you just for the international world? Business world? You have to really think this through. The, if you cut more money of the money that people are already receiving from Ontario Works and all the SP, you're going to leave people living in high numbers of in poverty. You're going to leave families starving. Because families who have members who are disabled, as I'm paying for food, as I'm paying for rent, they have to pay for special equipment. They have to pay for special diets. They have to pay for special transportation. They have to pay for respite services. They have to pay for mental health services, which by the way, they have so much advertisement going on. And guess what? Little you know, when you go and get mental health, there's a waiting list. The hospitals only do an assessment and said, this is short term. Then you have to go and follow up with a psychiatrist. And so I've been told. But the problem is this. Why you want to go into history books of the men that did so much evil to the province of Ontario? Why you want to be remembered as this person? Rather, be the men who changed the province of Ontario for good. And I'm talking from the bottom of my heart, sir. You're not coming from a far away planet. You're coming from Etobicoke. You know poverty. You used to visit with your late brother places where you see how the impact of poverty can be challenging on families. What have changed? You need to think through what is happening right now. Look in your window and see all the parents outside from the autism community rallying on behalf of an entire, entire province. Think through before you sign a document. Talk to your MPPs. Have town halls, communicate with the people. If you're a businessman, you will know that business is more productive when you take under consideration the needs of the people for a society to be productive. Societal members have to be productive. If you want to grow the economy, you need to grow the wealth, the safety net of your societal members. Enough playing politics with the life of people. You cut the flood funding and there's houses, hundreds of houses in Muskoka, under the water. You didn't believe in climate change, but now something is wrong because there's actually such a thing as climate change. Please don't imitate the North the neighbors of the North. Do what you have to do. Be remembered for the work, the good work that you're about to do. Because I still believe that you got it on you to help people. You may be following the wrong people. And you know what? I choose to, to think that you are going to do the right thing. Do you know why? Because you're already in office. Because you were elected by the people. You got the majority of votes. So therefore, the people want you to be there. But you have to make decisions thinking about all the people. 
including the ones that voted against you. You're not a premier of the PCs, you're the premier of Ontarians, all Ontarians, NDPs, Liberals, Green Party, all of them, even the socialists. Yes, we do need universal health care. Do you know why Canada is known across the world? Because of our universal health care. It may not be perfect. It has a lot of floods, waiting areas. We don't have doctors for rare diseases. We still don't have doctors that treat, you know, things like Lyme disease, for example. And that's not even considered like a really rare disease. We charge on surgeons. We charge on specialists for all types. But we are a universal healthcare system. And we need to keep it that way. You cannot take your child to the hospital with a broken arm and be asked to pay with a cast. $65 for a cast. A cast that has always been covered by the OHEP. When you're talking, it appears that you're talking from your own perspective. But guess what? Everyone in Ontario doesn't make a hundred K, sir. So yes, you need to think about that. Everyone in Ontario is not a social media influencer and made millions of dollars. Everyone in Ontario don't have access to medical private care. So yes, you need to think about that before you put through a budget, before you design services, before you ask your MPPs to stand up for you and say something. Education is important. You want to have a skilled workers and you take from elementary and secondary school teachers. Who you think is going to offer the foundation for the future of skilled workers? You think the college teachers are going to teach them everything that needed to be teached from the bottom up? No, sir. So please think well before you make a decision. I have faith that you can still make these things right. Do it for the sake of your government, for the sake of the people, and for the sake of the history of this country, of this province. Enough making mistakes for the people. Do something good for the people and do it now, Mr. Ford. I wish you well, and I really hope that you listen to this message.